today we've got <coughs> some basketball that uh, just came out, I believe. I um, was not even aware that this product had been released. But I was at a store today. Um, and saw it, so... Most of the cards in here are like um, extra thick or 
or bigger. Um, thicker than normal cards. So this one's numbered 13 to 49. I imagine most of the cards in here, if not all of them, are going to be numbered. Since there's only six per box, so there's just not a lot of cards in this set. Um, this is, I think, probably a parallel. It's blue. Um, and 49 is a pretty small number to be numbered to, so I'm just going to turn it over here. See if we can, yeah, it says quartz, I guess. That's the type of uh, parallel this is. Um, yeah, so this is second year Kuzma. And he and the Lakers are pretty much sucking this year, so. Um, if you're a really good basketball fan, you probably could figure out who that next guy was. I am not a big basketball fan, so I couldn't. But I'm just trying to keep the cards sort of unshown until we are ready to look at them. Alright, well, there's the first one, although it was the last one in the pack, so... Now this is the true kind of first card in the in the package, the pack that we opened. Um, and it's uh, also numbered, it's a larger number. Um, CJ McCollum Trailblazers. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Um, I just want to see if, like... I don't know what I'm doing here. I was going to try to sort of get some of the crappier cards first, but anyways, this is number 139. I want to see, though, what, um, yeah, so that is not, uh, doesn't say anything there. Where this is quartz, so this, I think, is probably a base, a base um, cornerstones card. Right there, number 139, so as you can see, even the most common card uh, there's only 139 of this particular one, so very low run kind of product. All right, what do we got here? Unbreakable's Kimba Walker of the Hornets. This is a shiny card, as you can see, kind of a refractory looking thing. Um, it's a subset Unbreakable's. Let's look at the um, and it, this is the, this is the only card in here that's uh, normal thickness. So. Interesting. Num number 10, it's not numbered. Kind of, I don't know, it's weird. It's like almost like it doesn't fit in here. But there it is. All right, well, next up is our uh, thick memorabilia card right here. Um, I think it's going to be autographed. It's backwards. Let's see who it is. Huh. The world be free. This guy is an old school player. I'm not sure when he played. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's an autograph. So, number 129, legendary, world be free, huh? Sixers. Let's see if it's got anything to say about him. Nope. Nope. Nothing at all about world be free. That's interesting. I've actually not heard of him, and you think with a name like that, if he was good, I would have heard of him, because I've heard of most of the, like, old school players who are good.
this was a pretty huge uh, letdown, but um, that's all right. I can have a number of huge letdowns and still be okay after um, I got that box of select with the Donchich uh, tie-dye parallel in there, so I forgive you this time, Panini. I forgive you. Um, well, yeah, let's hope... Uh, the rest of the basketball stuff I've bought is not as, uh, not as lame as this box. I'm not sure. These are just regular size um, sleeves, so I don't know if I'm going to get all the cards in there. I don't think I'm going to even try this thick one. The other ones should go fine. Um, so... enjoyed. Wish I had a little more star power um, for you. I wouldn't necessarily write off this product, but I'm not terribly excited by it. Um, so I don't know that I'll be motivated to buy anymore anytime soon. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. I shouldn't really talk about like anything 